We're going to stick with that last thing we were talking about, that California wage hike that we've seen. Bloomberg Economics says that it could also raise the risk that the Federal Reserve delays its first rate cut. Joining us for more context is Anna Wong. She is Bloomberg Economics' chief economist. Very curious about how you see this wage hike really impacting the broader economy. Of course, California being a whale in the room here when you think about how many people live there in the United States. Yeah, so, you know, California employed about 12% of the uh, uh, empl total national employment. And the number of workers that are directly affected by this fast food minimum wage hike is about half a million. And just those half a million workers seeing 20% increase in wages would boost the um, employment cost index, uh, which is a wage measure that the Fed pays a lot of attention to. Uh, it would boost it by a 0.1 percentage point. And add to that, uh, as Brian just said, not only are the fast food workers seeing 20 percent hike, but they need to raise the wages for managers and a lot of other related jobs. That could, um, that could boost um, the ECI by, by a total of 0.2 percentage point. And the Fed is getting these numbers on the second day of their July F FOMC meeting. Uh, so that means that it could be that when they looked at the, the employment cost index, they would be like, they would go like, maybe they couldn't do the cut in July. And uh, we also think that if they don't cut in July, then they probably miss the window for cutting because thereafter unfavorable seasonal patterns based effects would cost a 12-month change in inflation to drift up.